Hello, YouTubers, friends, compatriots, bootlickers, shills, desolators, peasants, vassals, minions, minions. I'm a useful idiot. Welcome. And uh, today I want to go back to Syria. And um, this entire plan of uh, U.S. intervention in Iraq and Syria, now upcoming, is either uh, diabolically brilliant, um, as I've discussed in previous videos, or uh, incredibly inept. Or it may be a combination of the both, but uh, this is playing out uh, as we have imagined. And that is the U.S. will now inevitably um, get uh, involved in the Syrian conflict. So uh, now uh, there are discussions in public, which means that, uh, once again, the public is being massaged and uh, we're going to go in increments. And they're discussing airstrikes and involvement in Syria now. Uh, as a combined uh, operation against uh, ISIS or the Islamic State uh, that now encompasses uh, regions in Syria and Iraq. <clears throat> so there's an article that came out in New York Times today discussing it, and uh, one of their ideas is that uh, uh, to speed up arming, uh, so-called training and arming, so-called moderate Syrian opposition, but uh, as uh, uh, Barack Obama already uh, spelled out uh, the entire idea of a, uh, a moderate Syrian uh, secular uh, opposition it has uh, always been a fantasy and it's uh, strange to hear him couch it in those terms but uh, now as a result of this uh, Jim James Foley uh, beheading uh, video which is a, a, a dubious validity uh, there's some speculating that it, it might not be real uh, I kind of dismiss that in the sense that uh, these are the kind of videos that ISIS posts and um, that's that's just how it is. Um, but the fact that the United States is using this as a uh, catalyst for uh, U.S. intervention in Syria now, of course, calls it into to, uh, question. And uh, they're saying that uh, the James Foley video creates a, quote, new context, unquote. And that means that uh, now they kill one American and all of a sudden uh, all, all the efforts before this, including trumped up uh, chemical weapons attacks and the like, uh, didn't work. But now one uh, American is beheaded and somehow it's enough uh, for everybody to cheer on uh, this, uh, this new upcoming uh, intervention. And in the article, they also go on to discuss the idea of uh, arming the the, Syri uh, the Syrian Kurds, the Kurds in Syria, uh, as they are doing now with the uh, Kurds in Iraq. And that's uh, rather interesting as well after uh, how many years now, uh, four or five years of letting the Kurds in Syria hang out to dry, uh, being massacred and kidnapped. And now, for some reason, the U.S. wants to, to utilize them themselves in opposition to ISIS. And uh, so anyway, this is getting to be uh, what we always uh, refer to in my videos, at least, as a cl classic clusterfuck. And uh, so they're also, the U.S. is talking about airstrikes, bombers, and even special forces ground troops, which means uh, the more they justify the application of ground troops and special forces in uh, Syria, the more and more we're going to get used to seeing uh, increases in ground forces in Iraq as well. And uh, they're also talking about drone strikes against uh, ISIS leaders uh, like they do around the world. So obviously they've uh, looked at an entire spectrum of uh, a new intervention. And, and any one of them uh, qualifies as a, a, an act of war in Syria. So uh, the U.S. is going to uh, broaden its new war in Iraq with a new war in Syria, uh, taking it to the next level. And uh, one of the uh, quotes in this article, too, is, uh, quote, ISIS cannot be defeated without going into Syria, unquote, from a government spokesman. So now that's another way we're getting massaged and getting uh, ready to be sold on the fact that ISIS has to de be defeated. They, as I pointed out, they're the ultimate new boogeyman. Um, they're now heavily armed, uh, thanks to the United States and Iraq, and uh, now... Uh, they have to be taken care of, and this is justifying this intervention. Uh, another quote is from the government is, quote, we're considering what's going 
uh, going to be necessary to deal with the, that threat and we're not going to be restricted by borders, unquote. So that's a very key element. Uh, now they see this uh, caliphate as an entity and uh, the very borders that have been, uh, Sykes-Picot borders that have been erased by uh, the Islamic State are now going to be adapted by the United States uh, using it uh, as a, uh, a, a pretext for a two-country war in Iraq and Syria. And uh, kind of reminds me of uh, the whole situation in Vietnam as well when it turns out the North Vietnamese were uh, funneling troops and supplies in through uh, routes through Laos and Cambodia. So the United States ended up uh, secretly at the time, people don't realize that now, but at the time it was done secretly and only revealed later to much uh, disgrace, but uh, an entire war in Laos, invasion of Laos, and a bombing of Cambodia. So this is uh, very reminiscent of that and we'll probably have similar, similar results. But uh, it's kind of funny that they're still talking about uh, speeding up training and arming of modern Syrian, op or, uh, Syrian opposition because they've been doing it for four, five, six, seven years now and to speed it up um, seems like a, a pointless and as I said t uh, two weeks ago Obama said quote arming rebels has always been a fantasy unquote and he said the administration had difficulty finding training and arming a sufficient cadre of sec secular Syrians quote there's not as much capacity as you would hope, unquote. That's an understatement. So essentially, uh, like we figured out for quite some time, there really isn't much uh, moderate Syrian opposition, and that's why the uh, uh, attempt to topple the Assad government in Syria had to be augmented by all these foreign fighters. Of course, they will gravitate to the situation anyway, but uh, that's uh, certainly uh, one of the reasons why we have this hodgepodge uh, of opposition in Syria and the United States had everything to do with it uh, because of multiple uh, efforts on their part to train all sorts of different factions uh, to go back into Syria and one of them turned out to be uh, the colonel uh, for the growth of ISIS or the Islamic State and uh, one of the things that's really complicated about this is now the goal is not to cripple or remove the Assad government in, in this US intervention in Syria so somehow we, we couldn't, the U.S. couldn't justify the intervention in Syria to topple the Assad government, but now it can be legitimized by going after the Islamic State, an irony there. But uh, like I say, now the goal isn't to uh, intervene in Syria to topple the Assad government, um, it's to attack the Islamic State. And uh, ironically, uh, Assad will gain from this episode if the United States starts attacking uh, its only real opposition in, uh, in Syria. And uh, so, uh, once again, a uh, very complex, uh, strange way these things work out in the, in the difference between what the United States is trying to achieve in, in Iraq and what the United States is trying to achieve in Syria. And uh, the, uh, the, to add another layer of irony, of course, Assad himself has been uh, focusing uh, his military and attacks against the Al-Nusra Front and other opposition groups in Syria and essentially uh, letting ISIS be for the time being so that ISIS will uh, destroy the other opposition that Assad has been attacking. And um, But that's not working out as well right now because ISIS has uh, gotten enough strength and enough, enough weapons that uh, they are taking taking on the Syrian government uh, full on right now. So. Uh, so here we go. Uh, they're just uh, buttering things up right now. Uh, my understanding uh, from reading at least the mainstream media is that Obama uh, seems to be reluctant, but that might be just the way they paint it uh, so that they can uh, say he was, uh, was going to go to war in Syria, kicking and screaming. But uh, there we have it. Uh, U.S. Uh, finally getting its war in Syria. I'm a useful idiot. Don't you be one too?